A new assignment for Michael Knight and Kit. At the Foundation, Michael, Devin, and April watch TV replays of an accident which occurred at last year's Oakside motorcycle race. Several of those riders ended up in the hospital, and young Danny Duval was killed. Since the Foundation's co-sponsoring this year's competition, we were really worried when we got this letter. It says Danny Duval was murdered. Even if there's an outside chance that the accident may have been planned, we have our work cut out for us. Michael and Kit make their way to the race course. Michael, I'm afraid we'll have more accidents than we bargained for. This track is in no shape for a race. It's cluttered with debris, potholes, large gaping crevices, and numerous mud puddles. Sounds like a pretty good description to me. You mean that's the way it's supposed to be? Kit, it's like an endurance test. Well, I suppose it's just what these overbred bicycles deserve. At the track, Michael hails one of the riders from last year's race. Lee Carstairs shows Michael his trophies and product endorsements. Yes, your posters are on more walls than Uncle Sam's, huh? No money in posters anymore. It's t-shirts now. That's where the big bucks are. And that's why I say promotion is everything. Just then, a rider who was injured in last year's race arrives at the racetrack. Kelly Travis is a real hot dogger. Michael follows Kelly out to the highway. Michael, up ahead. All right, Kelly! Pull over, I want to talk to you! But Kelly continues showboating and jumps kick. What are you trying to pull, big shot? <laughs> I thought it was pretty hot. Yeah, well, I wasn't. <laughs> Neither are you. Get up. <laughs> You're going to have to pull me up, partner. I can't make it alone. Haven't been able to ever since that accident on the mountain. And there's some kind of surgery that can help you? Sure. I don't want to take two years out of my life. If you stay away from racing that long, you might as well hang it up. That night at a pre-race party, Sabrina, Kelly's sister, is cornered by Wade Fontaine, another of last year's racers. I just thought it was time you and I kissed and made up. Wade, there is no reason to make up. I just don't like you. Well, that's because you never really got a chance to know me. She's never going to get that chance. Later in the Foundation van, Michael, Devin, and April look at films of last year's race. That's what's been bothering me. Kelly's front wheel isn't moving. If something jammed his wheel, he couldn't handle that bike no matter how good he is. I think the murderer was really after Kelly. And I think Danny was an innocent victim. Whom do you suspect? I don't know. There's two racers who still hate Kelly. One's name is Wade Fontaine and the other is Lee Carstairs. Michael races back to Kelly's garage. How could one rider cause another rider's wheel to stop turning? It's easy. You just shoot a little aluminum rod out of a CO2 target pistol. Right into the spokes, stops everything cold, and then it disintegrates. That happen a lot? Bicycle racers do it a lot in Europe. Kelly overhears Sabrina admit writing the letter to the Foundation. She has been trying to stop Kelly from racing so that he won't be hurt again. I gotta win this race for Danny. You can't stop me, Sabrina. Not if you love me. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> hey, come on. You ruin your mascara, huh? See you at the racetrack, huh? At the finish line. Just before the race begins, Michael meets Wade again. Hey, listen, Stretch. I'm going to have to teach you some manners. Ah! Wade misses Michael by a mile and smashes his fist into the trailer. Gee, I hope you can ride with that bad hand today. Ah. Then the racers are off. On the first straightaway, Kelly takes the lead, jumping the first hurdle. Suddenly, Kit calls up the missing information, along with the motive for trying to sabotage the race. Just what I thought, Kit. Every one of Lee's endorsement contracts ends this year. What does that have to do with this race? Lee has to win to reestablish himself as a champion, or no advertisers are going to touch him. Kelly's the only rider equal to Lee. I bet you Lee got caught up in his own sabotage last year, and Danny got the worst of it. Are you going to stop the race? No, kid. You and I have just become the first four-wheeled motorcycle team in history. In the turn, Lee Carstairs and Kelly Travis are neck and neck. Coming up best behind them is Wade Fontaine. Wait! Fontaine fishtails into a shoulder, flies off his bike. Apparently, Fontaine is all right, just a little shaken. The spectators are astonished. A black car has entered the race, gaining on the cycles. Michael and Kit scream around a curve. Michael! Carstairs is aiming that device at Kelly. Michael drives the car between the two cycles. Kit becomes a shield for Kelly and forces Carstairs out of the race. Michael, Kelly has stopped at the foot of Widow's Mountain. He must have lost his nerve, Kit! You've got to 
to get up that mountain. I can't. Listen to me. What happened last year wasn't your fault. It was Lee Carstairs. I'm sorry. Without Danny, I'd feel too long going up there. You won't be alone, Kelly. I'm going with you. Michael and Kit join Kelly on the ride to the finish line. Michael, the other races are only 20 seconds behind. All right, Kit. Let's see what those high tracks and drop downs can really do, pal. Kelly Travis, number 25, running the race of his life, crosses the finish line first. You did it, kid. Uh, we did it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the day after the race, Kelly gives Michael his racing helmet. Oh, we wanted to thank you for everything, Michael. Yeah, and I want you to have this. I've decided that I'm going to have that surgery. And then I'm going to try and find something else to put my energies into besides racing. Well, I hope I can stand you. You've got a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> These races have sparked my interest in fresh air once again. Well, I'll see you later at the Foundation. Honestly, the fact that Devin would choose that two-wheeled can opener over the comfort of an automobile is completely mystifying. <laughs> you may have a point there. 